hello children how are you all i hope you are all fine today we are going to have lots of fun by reading and enjoying the poem a poison tree unit 2 a poison tree okay author william blake a poison tree author william blake uh, before going for the line by line description of the poem i would like to give you my dear students some information about the poet whose poet william blake william blake the poet who is acknowledged to be the first major english romantic poet was born on 28th november 1757 okay the poem a poison tree is included in his famous work songs of experience okay songs of experience published in 1794 is other great work include songs of innocence which was published in 1789 in the songs of innocence he shows a kind of existence which is full of joy and harmony whereas in the songs of experience there is a sense of gloom and mystery okay he was uh, uh, blake is now considered a seminal figure in the history of english poetry uh, he was born in london he was boldly imaginative rebel in both his thought and his heart some of his famous poems are the lamb and the tiger when I mean, although the poem a poison tree come across the very simple poem but it is much more than that okay very interesting poem okay now we'll begin with line by line description with the poem uh, a poison tree i was angry with his friend i told my wrath my wrath didn't I was angry with my foe. I told it not. My wrath did grow. So here first line, I was angry with my friend. So here I refer to the poet. Okay, here I refers to the poet. Who is the poet? William Blake. Okay. So the poet says uh, that he was angry with his friend okay first line the poet says that he was angry with his friend next i told my wrath my wrath did end so what is the meaning for wrath it's a new word no okay strong feeling of anger strong feeling of anger so when he told him about his ang- anger it ended okay next i was angry with my foe for for means enemy here for refers to enemy okay he was also angry with his enemy so the poet says that he was angry with his friend then when he told him about his anger it ended so he was also angry with his enemy then fourth line i told it not i told it not my wrath did grow so but he did not tell it to him so his anger grew more on him So the first stanza the poet was angry with his friend he told his friend about his wrath and his anger anger vanished the poet was angry with his foe but he suppressed his anger and his wrath grew okay so what is the meaning for wrath strong feeling of anger what is the meaning for enemy sorry foe meaning is enemy okay here friend end rhyming words okay foe grow also rhyming words next stanza and i watered it in fears night and morning with my tears and i stunned it with smiles and with soft desireful wiles okay so which means uh, and i watered it in fears which means he gave more life to it with his fears okay next uh, night and morning with my tears so which means and his cries every morning and night next and i sunned it with smiles so he brightened it with smiles and with the soft desireful wiles which means and with soft tricky thoughts okay he had desireful me uh, desireful wiles na cunning tricks okay desireful wiles cunning tricks okay okay next third stanza and it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine okay so here yeah.
here and it grew both day and night which means and the anger grew both day and night okay till it bore an apple bright which means it grew like a tree that bore a bright apple next and my foe beheld it shine here beheld means uh, saw okay beheld na no? saw s a w saw only okay which means his enemy saw it shine brightly okay his enemy saw it shine brightly next and he knew that it was mine so which means what and knew that the apple belonged to the poet okay now he is talking about only the apple and knew that the uh, apple belonged to the poet okay next answer and into my garden stole when the night had wheeled the pole in the morning glad i see my foe outstretched beneath the tree okay third star uh, third stanza as i already read the poem uh, explained no and it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine okay which means is suppressed wrath as compared to a tree that grew continuously until it bore a beautiful apple okay here the apple refers to the story of man's fall from the garden of eden okay under the lure of the bright fruit of the forbidden tree his foe mesmerized by the shine of the apple decides to rob the speaker of his prized possession okay now we'll move on to the fourth stanza and into my garden stole when the night <clears throat> when the night had wheeled the pole in the morning glad i see my foe outstretched beneath the tree and into my garden stole so which means he came secretly into his garden uh, when the night had wheeled the pole so when the night covered the pole in the morning glad i see in the morning the poet's anger changed into gladness how not the my foe outstretched beneath the tree so to he is see his enemy outstretched beneath the tree okay so which means at night when darkness had covered the pole his foe secretly entered his garden okay his enemy secretly entered his garden in the morning the speaker was very happy to find his enemy lying dead under the tree thus his enemy fell prey here prey p r e y prey refers to food to his own poisonous intention of robbing the speaker of his beautiful possession okay <coughs> okay students this is what the poem of a poison tree okay who is the author of this poem william blake okay this is not a memory poem okay study the appreciation question answer paragraph question answer mm, two marks question even glossary study well okay then complete the summary by filling in the given spaces i'll post the answer also okay study uh, if you have any um, extra notebooks uh, last year english class work just note down the uh, uh, question answers okay ma study well thank you don't waste the time okay make use of this uh, quarantine time focus on your studies study well bye take care of your health